guys, it is the most wonderful time of the year, Sephora sell. Are you tired of hearing that from every influencer? <laughs> I don't know. I mean, it is the best time of the year. It's truly the time to start, you know, your holiday shopping a little bit ahead of time. I love the Sephora sell for that. I love to shop for my loved ones and of course myself. In today's video, I'm gonna show you and I'm gonna demo my favorite products at Sephora. New, old, all around, just my favorite products to ever exist. So yeah, if you wanna stay tuned, I do suggest you pick up a snack or a drink and let's get to watching. Hello friends, welcome, welcome. It is the most wonderful time of the year. Of course, Sephora sells. So we'll be talking all about my recommendations. These are my top Natch recommendations when it comes to makeup and I have picked one or two products in each category. I kept them very minimal so I hope you appreciate that. It's hard to pick between you know your favorite children. Starting off with this guy. This is newest YSL um, candy glaze. These are beautiful. They have colored ones. This is the clear in shade 02. This is very plumping. It is very nice. Let me bring you a little closer, actually. I spritz my face just a little bit. I do have a little bit of concealer all over my face because I was rushing. I needed to drop off the kids this morning. And I think we're gonna work from this. Primer of choice is gonna be this one because winter is coming and we need all the hydration. And this one from Mary Beauty does a very good job at just hydrating my face like no other. So these has four types of hyaluronic acids in here. Like it is a little, so I'm gonna put it up here so you can see cause I'm not gonna put it on my face. It really um, absorbs so, so nicely into the skin and it just gives it a beautiful, beautiful soft sheen. And I just love it because it is a skincare product. It's gonna prime perfectly for your makeup application. So priming is always, always, always important, but I, I didn't wanna overwhelm you with three different primary options. You know, if you have oily skin, go with that. These you can um, you can tweak for your needs if you are dry. I think they suggest three pumps. If you have combination, two pumps. If you're oily, one pump, you know, something like that. Read on the instructions, but this is an excellent primer in my opinion. Now for foundation, this should be no surprise. And these are my favorite favorite foundations. I have like five favorites. I don't know. I'm a, such a complexion junkie, but yeah, I did my best and I came, um, you know, I came with the conclusion that Very Valentino is one of my most used, most loved foundations because it is extremely natural on the skin and it is so, so long wearing. I love, I love the coverage of it. I love how beautiful it wears throughout the day. It doesn't really matter if I'm peeling that day, which I constantly, you know, battle with after I trade my pimples. These will never look heavy or cakey is just a beautiful second skin like foundation. I have two shades. I have MW4 for um, summer and I have MN3 for this time of year. So this is my perfect match. If you're wondering, I love Bare Valentino foundation. And then this one by Givenchy, their skin caring matte foundation. So I'm giving you a little natural foundation and then a little matte foundation if you're oily. This is good. This will never cling under dryness and this just looks beautiful. It has a soft, you know, soft focus effect. Both of them do. They wear very good throughout the day. It is jam-packed, this guy with good skincare ingredients for your face. I just love these two foundations. I think that these are just solid and I always, always go back to them. But for concealer, I have these two options. This one from Natasha Denona, which we don't get here in Canada at Sephora, so that's why I didn't want to include it, but I know you could get it in the US, so here it is. This is a beautiful, very long wearing concealer. If you want reviews on any of these products, just tap on my name and the product and it'll pop up. 
And then latest to my collection, this one from Gucci. I love this concealer. It is truly lightweight. I'm gonna apply a little bit more. I already had some on, but it doesn't matter. This never gets heavy or cakey. It just blends to the most natural, soft, focus um, concealer of time. It gives the brightening that I need underneath my eyes and it's just so good. It wears all day long. Very, very natural concealer. So I really like him. Um, I also really like the one from YSL. Um, so those are my three picks. I'm such a concealer junkie. Um, so the newest all hours, like all angles or all hours, hold on. All hours, precise angles concealer, this guy. This is also good. And you get double what you get in the Gucci, in this guy, but I really like the Gucci but I also like the white so don't make me pick now setting powder I was asked over on Instagram please do your top powder um, your top foundation your top concealer for the upcoming Sephora sale and this is it friends this is what I constantly reach for when I'm doing my makeup when I want to look flawless Givenchy powder is where it's at period. <laughs> I, I don't think that I found any other best powder than this one, to be honest. I just love it so much. It really makes you filtered. It really does. So this one is in the shade Rose, shade 3, and then I also have shade 4. I used to be obsessed with shade 4, but I don't know, for some reason I just switch over to 3 all together. I use this one a little bit more because I just feel like it brings a lot of brightening, you know, and I like that effect. And look, it's just so, so filtery. And with the Gucci, you know, concealer, I think they're a beautiful pair. Um, so yeah, this is my favorite. Top 1. Givenchy, but if you want a less luxury option, I'm gonna give you this one by Huda Beauty. This is also a beautiful, beautiful setting powder. It has a lot of scent, so be aware of that. That's why sometimes, oh, um, you know, people don't wanna reach for it, but it is a beautiful, flawless powder. I don't love the pressed version underneath my eyes. I like it as a sweeping, you know, powder at the end of my makeup, but this one is good for all over the face. It also makes you very blur. Now for a press option, I did wanted to talk about this one from NARS. This is their Talk Free Soft Matte Advanced Perfecting Powder. This one is in the shade Crick, and I love this powder. If you bottle with acne, you need this powder in your life because it is very, very filtery. It doesn't have any talk, as I mentioned. So it's very good for you. I like it. It's just a more natural powder, right? Than the Givenchy. So these won't control my oils. The Givenchy doesn't as well. Um, they're more natural powders. I feel like the Huda will control my oils. But these and the Givenchy, they're very natural, everyday kind of powders. But this one is so, so good. I'm sure I love it for underneath my eyes. I love it for the rest of my face. But for some reason, underneath the eyes, I just find Givenchy is the best blurring, um, you know, powder. So moving along to some bronzers and these are my top picks. This one from Tom Four is in the shade Gold Dust. I love this shade because it is very pigmented so I love it. It has a little bit of a golden sheen I'm gonna show you which looks very natural and for medium complexion it just looks beautiful. Look at that. You know it really bronzes but in the most beautiful way. I don't think I've ever demoed this guy, but I use it constantly, you know, on my everyday makeup because I love it. This is such an oldie but a goodie kind of product. Um, so that's why I wanted to show it some love. The formula is very, uh, very soft and filtery as well. So yeah, I like it. Like, it has just a soft sheen. I don't know if you'll be able to see it, but um, I'll swatch it if you are curious. 
so I'm not sure like sometimes bronzer don't even show up on my swatches because I'm so tan but my face is lighter of course than my hand so that's gold dust now the Gucci Beauty Bronzer. They released a new limited edition compact. It looks so, so pretty. Um, that's that. that. This one is a little bit more matte. I don't know if you can see that beautiful, beautiful sheen from the one from Tom Ford. This is a more natural matte bronzer. And then this one from Dior. It's actually one of my top, top products from Dior ever. These have such a beautiful soft formula. I actually broke it. So I had to press it back in there at the shade five. So these are them. You can see five is a little bit more neutral than the other shades, but beautiful, stunning, luxurious bronzer formulas that I just love so. Now we're getting into a trouble zone because when it comes to uh, blushes, I'm an addict. So I have a huge problem, you know, with this category. <sighs> My top luxury picks are gonna be the Valentino um, blushes and then the Gucci blushes. These are my top luxury blushes. I feel like the formulas are just outstanding. They last a lifetime on my cheeks. They just look effortlessly extra, extra soft. I don't know which one should we apply. I usually, let's do, oh my God, this is, hard <laughs> this is new from a gucci maybe let's apply intense plum i love i love these kind of shades and these blushes are so pigmented let me divide that pigment because i didn't tap off my brush this is so filtery like both of these blushes when i wear them i just i look at myself in the mirror and i'm just at odd I'm not exaggerating, like it really diffuses pores, textures, and it has such a beautiful sheen. I just love them. They're equally, I believe, in price and things, um, so I can't say which ones are more worth it, but I feel like they're very similar, you know, formulation, soft, sheeny blushes, beautiful. And my favorite cream, powder blush in a compact is gonna be this one so from Patrick Ta. I didn't want this video to be extra repetitive because you already know I'm obsessed with this. I have videos on every single of the shades every time he's released one. I probably had a video up, you know, talking about it. These are beautiful. I love, I love. Um, I still love, Cheese Blushing is still my babe. This is my favorite. He hasn't come out with one that I love more than this. So I did wanted to point that out. This has such a beautiful and stunning sheen that it just looks <sighs> beauty. So Cheese Blushing is my favorite. And of course, he's released his holiday palette. I'm not gonna say I don't recommend it, but I did get a lot of, um, you know, comments over on Instagram and over here just saying that, you know, that it is too pink. And it is true. It is a pink blush palette. So if you're into pinks, I do feel like this is a good bang for your buck because you're trying two different pinks, a very light pale pink and then a really bright pink. So again, if you love pink blush and you haven't tried his formula, I feel like this is a very good deal, um, you know, for the price. And then you get these four beautiful toppers in here, which are very, very, very pretty, but very glittery, but they're very, very festive. So if you're all about that glitter for the holidays, I think that you're gonna love this palette and you have to, of course, love pink. So I wanted to touch up on that. Um, but yeah, these shades are very, very glittery. Check out my review to see how they applied, how they compared to others and all that. And as I was almost done talking about blush, I just remember my house lab blushes. I cannot, I cannot not speak about them because I love them so much. These are good. These are pigmented, these are talk free. They have a beautiful formula. They're also sheeny and natural, just a little bit more natural actually than others that I spoke about, but these are good totally worth a mention i have a video you know chicks watching every single one of them if you're interested moving along to face palettes i i needed to mention this one from hourglass i have this snake 
in this this is customizable only on our glass, but you can get the snake palette um, over at Sephora. This is a beautiful palette. I love it. I feel like it's a beautiful, very complete kind of palette. You know, you have everything in one. And our glass powders, they just do it good. They're so filtery. They're also very, very blurring. I, I love them. I'm gonna apply a little bit of this one which is their finishing powder. And I love to apply this just in between my under eyes and then my blush, just to soften, you know, any harsh lines along that area. And I also like to just apply a little bit on my forehead and chin area like so 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 pretty and then the highlighter here is so pretty as well i have a video on this if you're interested but i i thought i'll mention this palette because i truly feel like you get you get very quality products into just one place very easy to travel and to carry now moving on to highlighting and i love dior highlighters i feel like they do it really really good they have these highlighters that come in a packaging like this or these ones these are so good i think like if anything I get this actually because you get four different shades you know here is just one shade and this is also their um more affordable version you know the backstage from dior i love this palette this is one i love this one too but um yeah i can make up my mind clearly so i am going to apply this one i love this rose gold shade it's so so pretty i'm mixing i think i want to mix the two for this side look at that it's so beautiful and it is so pigmented like so so pigmented and then I love that you could also use this pink shade as um you know a little bit of a blush topper if you really are into that glow so I'll keep it just a little higher there you go Whew. beauty yeah so good so yeah this palette from Dior I love I just love whenever I think about a good bang for your buck this are it her spray for your face this one from charlotte i had my brows done before i started filming as you saw but i had applied the rare beauty um in the shade deep brown so i wanted to mention it because this is truly what i use every single day for my brows i just find it to be very good for the price very affordable you know um you get a beautiful soft powdery in to this formula and it wears very nice and their gel is also so good it's totally clear and it just does a really good job at you know just setting my brows without being cement i love that i don't need an extra pulley you know everything is into one this little guy with those two products i feel like my brows look the best one so to eye makeup and for eyes i just have to always talk about the same thing over and over again and I don't want this to be extra, extra repetitive, but truly, Natasha Denona is where it's at. If this is your first time, you know, wanting to try Natasha Denona, run. Just don't walk. Run and pick up a palette with the color story that you like. You will not be disappointed. My favorite palette from her whole line is this one. I find it to be very neutral, but yet very out there so you know you you get the deep the rich the black the uh, purple you get dual chromes in here that are just beautiful and you get this whole road of warm cool like you get it all 
So I feel like this is truly her dream palette. Like she picked out a, a meaningful color and then put it into this palette. It is truly an amazing, amazing palette. The other palettes that she releases, they're always like a team kind of palette. You know, you get the green, you get these purple, um, you know, you get the pastel. So like you know what I mean? It's not, it's, they're not very palettes that you're going to use every day, you know, kind of thing. But this guy, I, I, I use it every day if I can. Little guy, you need, you need this guy in your life. <laughs> this one is a by Urban Decay, their newest holiday palette. They released four of their toppers into, I believe they have two palettes. So this is one of them, Space Rider. And then they have another one which has more gold and just the deeper deeper tones. So take a look at that. These are beautiful. You get such a good deal for the palette because these are pricey. And you get four into one limited edition, as I said, palette. Now I did wanted to also speak just a little touch on these guys i really enjoy these holiday releases um i feel like they're worth taking a second look because they're beautiful gifting ideas and even not gifting just for yourself i really love this palette from pat mcgrath this is her starstruck splendor so in this palette you get blushes which are very beautiful and then you get this beautiful color story you know very neutral but very very potent um i enjoyed i enjoyed this palette quite a bit so i wanted to mention it so now let's talk about this guy from charlotte i really like this palette but i know it's not everyone's cup of tea i still wanted to mention it because i feel like if you're gonna get it on sale you know this is the time to do so the sparkly shades are beautiful very very sparkly very holiday appropriate and then the three shades at top they're just easy throw and go kind of shades for me whenever i do a one and done it's gonna be a brown so i always reach for one i pat 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 and i leave like i'm literally out the door so today we're gonna actually go ahead and do that i'm going to take now uh, actually the cool tone shade and i'm just gonna apply it all over my lid and then we're gonna use the one from um urban decay i think yeah Let's do that. You can see that this is a cool tone brown that needs a little building up on my complexion, but it's such a beautiful neutral brown that you, you don't find it like very easily, you know, in palettes. I don't feel, I feel like because I'm such a cool, uh, a warm tone um, complexion, everything just look warm on me, you know? Like, I, I have such a hard time just trying to make things look a little cool tone. So when I find <laughs> that kind of shade, I like it. So I'm going to be taking this shade down here, which is Cosmic Space Dust. And I'm just going to pat it. Oh, this is so pretty. This shade is so neutral. Like, it's so, so beautiful. I got a question about this palette. Somebody asked, oh, if, is this hard, you know, like hard glitter to pick up? No, it's very soft. Very, very soft on the pen. And I haven't experienced any, you know, like hard panning. Nothing comes out effortlessly. Oh, it's so pretty. I love it. I don't know if you'll be able to see it so much, but she's there. I'm going to pick up a brush just to make it a little neat. Just make it a little neater. And then I'm going to take this guy for the inner corner.
comes to mascara, I already have some on. Um, I don't think I should put more, but I'm gonna curl them. Um, I had my Huda Beauty one coat mascara. I like it, but sometimes it's a pain. It's a pain to take off. So that's something that I don't like about it, but it doesn't smudge, it doesn't flake on me. It's a very good mascara. But I wanted to also talk about this guy, which I already bought myself a backup. This one is from Benefit, their FanFest mascara. I love this guy, it's so, so good. So I'm running through my little guy because that's the one that I bought first. Um, and then I, I, I just saw that I really liked it. And so I already went ahead and picked up the full size because it's such, such a good mascara. Oh, I pulled my little toe lash in there. Okay, there we go. Now let's do a little bit of eyeliner, which I like these ones from Rare Beauty. They don't really run, you know, they stay really good in the waterline. So I wanted to mention, and then they're also very affordable. I'm gonna do a little wing. Um, I'm taking just a shade in this one from Natasha. So I'm gonna do a little brown wing after the fact, after I have mascara and it's on my way. Yeah, let's do a wing. Now, I totally skipped on creamish products, you know, like highlighting and cream products that we need to speak of. Um, Rare Beauty sticks are my pick for today's video. I love how blendable they are. They just apply like a dream. I like always sunny for summertime and I like good energy which is their newest shade for this time of the year. I also love Westman Atelier in the shade Truffle. I do have a video where I swatch every single of my bronzing sticks if you wanted to see detail application of this stuff but Truffle is so good to me. Love. I was also reminded on a prior video that we need to talk about Pet the Patch from Westman. <sighs> Run of applause, please. She is that girl. She truly is. Like, she is beauty. Pet the Patch is everything. Okay, let's swatch her first. So you can see. These just looks so, so beautiful. Now I do want it, I wanted to talk about this guy from Givenchy, which is a highlighting option if you're looking for um, liquid version. So these were the two creamish, um, you know, products, highlighting products that I wanted to talk about today. Pepe Patch, you can see that is a little bit deeper, but these, both of them, Pepe Patch a little bit more natural, not gonna lie, um, because it's a little bit deeper, right? But the one from Givenchy and their holiday is just so good too for fair complexions. I do have the rose shade. She gets the job done. Like, every time. Oh, play too much, but I mean, Every time I use her, that's the problem I encounter. I cannot stop. You see, I wanna go back here to even things out. I cannot stop, I can't, I can't be tamed. <laughs> She's so pretty. I also have the rosy shade that they carry. Hold up, here it is. Same packaging, just a gold rim. This one has silver rim, this gold. This is in the shade Pat the Rose. And just a little bit more rosy. Can you see that? Yeah, just a little pinky. I don't use her that much because it's a little light for me, which is also beauty. So I wanted to show them to you. This video is so long, I apologize, but 
Last but not least, we have lipsticks. My favorite kind of lipstick is a matte formula. That's my pen. Um, so I love the Gucci Rouge Matte and then Charlotte's Matte Revolution formula. So um, yeah, you can see, let's apply a Gucci one because I always talk about, um, you know, the ones from Charlotte. I love the matte in Argentina and the Painted Veil. So the Painted Veil is this beautiful, cool tone rose shade that I use on a daily basis. And then this is the Made in Argentina, just a little bit more bold, but nonetheless, beautiful shade. I'm gonna line a little bit. That was in a little bit. Okay, that's a little better. This is in the shade um, Limitless Brown from Makeup Forever. These are beautiful liners too. So big content. All right, let's apply it. Such such a gorgeous shade, so stunning. And with the brown lip liner, you toned it down just a little bit, you know, it doesn't look as rosy, which I prefer that this time of year, you know? That's it, that's it. I had to be stopped because I'm gonna continue to add things and we do not need more. Um, I hope that you liked all my recommendations. Um, remember that my links will be down there in the description box for you to find things easily. Um, I do appreciate a ton if you shop with my links because it helps me. It gives me a small commission to continue to bring you content, you know, so I appreciate it from the bottom of my heart. If you ever remember, if you're ever browsing, if you're ever shopping online, come over to my videos and click on my links because again, it really does make a difference. You know, the brands get to see me a little bit more and I get to, you know, bring more content for you. So I appreciate it in advance. Thank you friends for watching. Do leave your recommendations down below. Let me know what are you shopping for. My next video will be hair, skin, and scents. I'm excited for that one. So make sure to watch that one next. I love you all so much. I'll catch you next time. Bye.